Greetings YouTube model train people. In today's video, I want to show you my latest 3D printed building. Um, I am calling this the furniture store only because that's what I'm using it for as a furniture store, but it could represent any commercial and residential building. Um, it's basically, it's a four story building the first floor is commercial, and then there's three layers of residential above that. There's two apartments per floor for six total apartments. Um, I will kind of show you around here. So... The front... The front is pretty simple. We've got some big windows, the main entrance, and more windows for the apartments. Uh, the sides are pretty plain. It's just windows for the upstairs floors. And then the back is probably the most detailed part. We've got um, three doors on the back. There's an employee entrance that goes into the office area. Uh, the residential entrance here that goes into the stairs and then an overhead door here for deliveries and we've got some detail like gutters and some power meters here on the back and I also did some detailing on the top because that's the part you see the most when you're looking down usually you're looking down at your layout so we've got some air conditioning units some vents and a little stairs for coming up. And now I will show you the interior here carefully. Okay, so here's kind of the whole thing, disassemble the inside. Let's see if we can. So this is, like I said, this is the commercial area here. I've got this as a furniture store, so we've got a bunch of random furniture set up. Um, this is like the bathroom here. This is hollow through here. If you noticed, I had wires. I've got lights in here, and I ran the... Um, that is uh, hollow through there, so you can run wires down through that. And then around back, we've got... This would be like the office. This is the stairs here going up to the residential units, and this is like a, like a storeroom. And there aren't any windows in either of these two rooms intentionally, so I didn't have to detail the insides of that. Now, for the next three floors are all the same here. Um, oh, shoot. Show how this looks. So, um... So basically for the the residential, you go in the back door and then you go up the first flight of stairs and then this is the second floor here. Second, fourth, third floor, fourth floor. And then the apartments are just mirror images of each other. You've got like your front door and then like a living room area. This is the kitchen and then two bedrooms back here. And then this would kind of be like the bathroom back here. Um, that's, once again, that's the hollow area for wires to go up and down. So all the files you would need to make this are up on Thingiverse. Um, I would encourage anyone to try and give it a shot and print it out. And I will go through the next part here. I will spend some time detailing the different parts you need to print and some of the settings and stuff I use that I'd suggest. Okay, so to print the building out, there are basically nine components that you need to print. I will run through those one at a time explaining them. We'll start with the walls. So there are four walls total that you need to print and these print flat with the inside towards the bottom of the print bed. There's the front, this is called front wall, back wall, and these are the side walls. The side walls are identical files, so you just need to print two of them. And then 
probably the hardest part of the assembly is gluing these all together um, to get the corners to look halfway decent. I will go into that in a little bit of detail here next. So all the walls in the corner have this extra white piece right here that's meant to come off. That's there for support. It helps these bricks print out over the edge here better. Here's the final print for the side walls. Okay, here are the four walls right after they're printed. Um, as you can see, they're pretty shiny. So I'm gonna take them out and hit them with a layer of dull coat. Okay, so as far as the assembly process goes, probably the most difficult part is getting the four walls all glued together. Now to help with that, I have a couple different brackets or braces here. I have this thing that goes on the bottom and I've slotted all of the four walls into that. And then I've got these braces here on the sides that kind of like hold it together. I've got one to go across the front and one to go across the side. And so what I've been doing is I have braced like this corner here and got it pretty much you can see inside there, there's almost no gap. Actually, there is a little bit of a gap. It's still really got to get this pushed together. And then what I've been doing, let me see if I can get this on camera here, is I've been running glue along the inside here. So I get glue here on the inside. And then I've been letting it set for several hours before I mess around with it anymore. All right, so now that all four walls have been glued together and the glue has cured up, you'll need to do a little sanding on the edges here, just kind of to smooth out the corners. So the reason for that is, um, if you've noticed when you put this together, if you do it right, if it, everything fits together correctly, um, the walls, the two walls, like these are the two walls, when they come together, when the bricks will stick out a little bit, and I did that by design, the bricks are a little bit too long, and I did that because um, the way the 3D printer prints, you can't make the these bricks on the end here you can't make them squared off like a brick they look more like a pill or a sausage or something so to compensate for that i made them too long and then you with the idea that you go in at the end and file them down afterwards so the corner is the diff most difficult thing to get if you've done any kind of building kits you realize that but i think this passes okay. I mean, if you look really, really close, it doesn't look that great, but from a normal distance, you'd look at it on a layout, you know, from even, well, a foot away, it looks a little bad, but, you know, yeah, a foot to two feet or more away, I think it it's, looks just fine. Okay, so those were the first four you have to print. The next pieces to print the next, the fifth thing to print is the first floor that consists of the front sidewalk and obviously not any of this detailed stuff that I put in here, but, um, and these, all these walls, 
the back stairs. And this prints in several, there's several files for different colors, like the door, the stairs, and the walls are all different colors. The next three parts you need to print are each of the residential floors, which all three are exactly the same. They print in multiple colors as well. You've got the doors, the floor, the walls, and the kitchen countertops are different colors. And so you need to print three of those for each of the floors. And then the final part to print is the roof. And that has just a couple different files for different colors. Um, it's got like the silver color and then a color for this, which I actually printed it as the same as these, and then the black. Okay, so in conclusion, I'm, I'm happy with, I'm actually really happy with the way this thing turned out. Um, I have built quite a few plastic kits that didn't turn out as well as this did. Um, and the effort I had on actually assembly and painting was significantly less. Like it's, I find it really tedious to do all like the little detail work in here on the windows and stuff. That's having that just done by the printer is really, really nice. So I'll give you another quick run, run around of the building. I did make a sign here for the front, but I don't know, I'm just not feeling it. Yeah, I don't know. Just looks like I printed it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to keep working on that. But, yeah, and I do... I apologize for this video, the way it seems really disjointed as I go through everything. Um, it was just, it was difficult because I was doing the design, printing it for the first time, making adjustments, putting it all together, and making a video. And I know th it makes it seem like, you know, I did this all in 15 minutes, but I've actually been working on it for a couple weeks now, so on and off, obviously. So hopefully between this video and I'll have some printed directions on Thingiverse for, for making it up, hopefully that gets you to something that looks at least this good. So as always, Thank you for watching the video. I'd appreciate a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll leave you with a night shot showing the interior lights. So here it is lit up at night. I've got the downstairs. And then, um, the stairwells lit up. It actually looks brighter on camera than it really does in real life. And unfortunately, uh, the light's leaking through the...
I get it to focus here. Come on, focus. What the heck? There. The light's leaking through the um, little stairwell thing on the roof. I'm going to have to make the inside of that black. Didn't think about that. That silver isn't it isn't opaque enough. deals with the focus here. Come on. 